Yo. I wasn't even about to go live right now. I was gonna wait till everybody got back from church, especially since the time went back. So, you know, I didn't want to interrupt anybody's time, but I mean, I guess people can just jump on after church. But I definitely wanted to touch upon this this topic before everybody started hitting me up in my inbox and stuff like that. So I'm about to let everybody know that we're going live on uh, IG, just so people can know they can hop in. What's good? Let's see. Yo, we live right now on YouTube talking about this head start. There's no more head start as far as what I'm seeing, so let's talk about it. Surprise. Do your boy by surprise. And I know I've seen a couple people were starting to hit me up. What's good, everybody? Again, y'all know my counter is wacky on my phone. So I don't know how many people in here. I don't know who watching. I don't know. So y'all let me know. How many people we got in here so far, people? Somebody tell your boy how many people we got in here. How many people we got in here? What's good, everybody? We got 33 people in here. What's good? Like I said, I know a lot of people probably at church right now, but I want just to talk about this right quick, man. I want to just talk about this. So look, I don't know. Maybe it's because it's the Jordan 1 mids, and they just like, people don't rock with me. There's no way. So why would we put a head start? I don't know. This is, this is a game changer. This is a game changer. And reason why I say that this is a game changer is because if this is true, now maybe they can add on a hair starts later on today. I don't know. I'm just going by what's going on right now. What's going on right now is that there's no hair start. So that means for people who don't have platinum accounts or premium accounts, you know, will they still be on the same playing field as people who had $3,000, $4,000 in their accounts? <clears throat> because I know for my foot action account, my foot action account, I had over forty five hundred dollars spent in my foot action account. So we we know that it's gonna be a merge eventually. Like I said before, they're gonna do something called the Flex app. So with that being said, man, I don't know if this is the start to the Flex app. I don't know if um this is something that they trying, but if they literally do no more head starts. Is pretty much going to be anybody can win. I, I just don't know how they're going to do it. I don't know if this is fair. Do y'all think that this is fair? Comment if y'all think that this is fair. Comment if you think it's going to be fair. It's just going to be random. Exactly. Like Mike said, it's just going to be Well, he said, are they going to pick us random? I don't know, bro. I don't think it's fair. And somebody said, sorry, resellers. It's just like, bro, y'all got to remember that resellers always find ways to... to to overcome these things, bro, just another obstacle that another reseller is just going to overcome. So now, since they're doing that, now all they got to do is make plenty. It's just, to me, this is better for the reseller because the reseller don't have to build accounts. All they got to do is just make accounts in people's names. You know what I'm saying? So to me, it, it don't matter. I, I, I don't want to say it don't matter. It's just, this just really caught your boy off guard. It just caught your boy off guard. But everybody's saying... They, uh, you know, no more resellers, death to the resellers. No, this is better for resellers. This is better for resellers because it gives them more chances to actually hit. Now your reseller can just make 100 accounts today and don't have to worry about putting money on accounts to actually juice the accounts up. So, I don't know, bro. I don't like it. I don't like it because it's just like... For the people who spend money in the stores on a daily basis or a regular basis, you know, doing all that good stuff, now you know their accounts that have $4,500, $5,000, is it just zero now? You know what I'm saying? I'm not 100% sure, bro. Somebody asked what happened. Robert asked what happened. So as of right now on the Foot Locker and Foot Action app, if you go and try to put in for the Jordan 1 Fearless, the mids, it says no... Hold on, let me show you. It says no, um, no head start available. Do you see right there? It says no head start. Well, it says not available. So I'm not sure if 
you know, there's no more check-ins. I'm not sure how they're going to do it. Maybe it's a different process. When do these joints release anyway on the 9th? I won't even be in Chicago on the 9th anyway. So, to be honest, it really don't even matter matter to me. I'm just trying to see what's the what's the end game, you know what I'm saying? What's the end game for this? You know, the game has changed. If this is how it's going to be, I feel like everything is going to be random. Everything is going to be random. So it's no more I don't I don't know, bro. I don't know. I really don't know. But but to be honest, I still feel like I personally still feel like that those who still buy in the stores and things of that nature, I still feel like they're going to have an advantage. I feel like the people who have who've had counts for a long time will still be good. This will be more random, but I feel like it's going to be a trick. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you still got to spend money in the stores. I feel like they're going to continue to um, incentivize people who actually spend money. And this is something I forgot to even talk about a while ago. So y'all know I was told about the whole Flex app and, you know, all this stuff was supposed to be merging um, back in April. So I knew back in April that this day was going to come eventually. But so what they're going to do, and y'all heard it here first, y'all heard it here first, forgot to mention this, is that um, instead of giving like, you know, coupons and stuff like that, they're going to really start incentivizing people who use their apps and people who really spend money in the store. So they're going to start. This is what I was told. And I was told this by the same guy who told me that all this was going to happen is that. Foot Locker as a company, y'all know Foot Locker is head honcho, and he got Foot Action, Chance, Lady Foot Locker's all under them. But they're gonna start doing like dope, like giveaways for people who, who like are loyal customers. I'm hearing like free trips. I'm hearing they're gonna be giving away prizes, all kind of things. So instead of us just getting you know coupons and you know we just happy that we got coupons, they're gonna have some kind of like. Um, rewards program, whereas, you know, the loyal people, the people who really spend money in their stores, you're going to have a chance of winning, like, trips and, like, basketball tickets and all kind of other dope prizes. So maybe this is, you know, maybe this is what everything is starting to circulate into. And that's going to be dope. That's going to be dope that if they really start, you know, incentivizing their rewards program. Because, like I said, the same guy who told me about you know, the Flex app and everything that's going to happen. He said that they're going to start giving away like trips. What's good, my boy Chaotic in here? They're going to be giving away like trips. They're going to be giving away like tickets, basketball tickets, etc. So I am won't believe it because he's the same guy who told me that all this was going to happen. So y'all let me know how y'all feel about this stuff, you know, in the comment section. I don't know. As of right now, I don't think it's going to affect me. But if I start taking L's, then I'm like, yeah, bro, this stuff is whack. It's starting to affect how everything is going. So, yeah, as of right now, there's no more head starts. Well, maybe just for this release. You know what I'm saying? Because they're still going to be doing first come, first serve and all kind of other stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, we'll see, man. I know exactly how y'all feel, man, about all this that's going on. Um, let your boy know how many people. People we got in the building right now. Subscribe to Chaotic Kicks. Yes, he is on um a thousand subscribers. So make sure y'all go and sub over there. Right, now, like I said, as far as Chicago good spot is getting them, I wonder like if you know the coupons and stuff, all this stuff is still in here, man. Let me see. Yeah, I still got my coupon and stuff, so I don't know. I don't know what's going on with the change. And all this stuff, man. But, hey, it is what it is. Like I told y'all, I do got a mystery unboxing for you guys as well. I was thinking about going ahead and doing it now. But I will go ahead and do that later on today. I still kind of want to pick y'all brains as, as far as this topic. And see exactly what y'all, you know, how y'all feel about it. Do y'all feel it's a good thing? Do y'all feel like it's a bad thing? I think people with gold memberships will still have advantage. Same but we just might not have to do the hair starts. It may just do it for us automatically. That could be true. It could turn out to be like an automatic thing. Um, you like the Island Green? Yeah, those joints are actually nice. The Island Green 13s are really, really nice. 
Um, if there's no head start, don't that make it easier for people who got hella accounts? That's what I said. A lot of people was like, yes, this is the end for resellers. No, it's not. Now all you got to do is make an account if there's no head start and an account that somebody made yesterday could possibly beat your account that you have for years. So I don't see that being it's a help for resellers. All right. What? Huh, wrong info. Only some shoes would not have head start. Not all. I said that. You know what I'm saying? I said maybe some of them, maybe some of them will be like that. But it may be like the extra hype shoes. Like it's a Jordan 1 mid. So I'm surprised that a Jordan 1 mid won't have a head start. You know what I'm saying? Maybe maybe because they're looking at it like it's a Jordan 1 mid and they like, bro, people ain't going to want to go after these. But these mids are going to do numbers. These mids will definitely do numbers. Uh, only way I'll get something. I uh, think this may have started from the cold in-store being sold or provided by others. It's possible because best believe like Twitter got like those accounts where they tell you to check in codes. Yeah, you know, a lot of people find ways to cheat the system. And that's why I said, even though they need the head starts, I like the head starts. But then again, it's just like everybody in Chicago, for the most part, that get these pairs got the 10 minute head start. So if everybody don't have a head start and we all on like an even playing field, if the account still remain a good status, you know what I'm saying? We still should be good for the most part. We still should be good. But it also gives people the advantage. You know what I'm saying? Like what if somebody's out of town? But it really doesn't. Because like I said, head starts now, if they if they made it to the point where only way you can get your one minute head start is physically by going into the store, I would have rather them did that, but then, you know, changing it to no head start at all. Actually make the people go into the store. You know what I'm saying? Other than just taking it away in general. So yeah, I don't know, bro. I don't know, y'all. This is this is this is I don't know. I don't know how I'm feeling. I don't know how I'm feeling, man. Leg work, exactly. Make people do the leg work because, you know, for the most part, a lot of people got lazy with it. And, you know, like one of my good, you know, partnerships, you know, he do this for people. So, you know, I wonder how he feels about this, you know, potentially, you know, stopping what he's been doing, man. So, I don't know. I don't know. It's, um... What if Foot Locker started tracking IP address? See, look, here's the thing with all that, bro. Um, that's just too much work on their behalf. You know what I'm saying? All they want is their shoes to be sold. You know, they're not about to start playing detective, uh, you know what I'm saying, In investigagic and stuff like that. They're not about to do all that, you know. They could, but they I highly doubt if they do that. Yes, all the way, Jay said, rock bottom that like button. Uh, of course, y'all see, I, I can't. See how many people we got in here, but it's all good. Yo, bro, you coming to SneakerCon Chicago? Uh, are you bringing merch? Yes, I will have special merch for SneakerCon Chicago. Um, I believe, like, Chaotic will be here. Alias will be here. Um, of course, Flight will be here. Um, Snipe, he, like, 50-50 whether or not he coming or not. Um, so, I mean, I, I honestly want to say the whole squad going to be here. Uh, RIP Head Starts. That's what it's looking like right now, man. That's definitely what it's looking like right now that the head start madness is over. And like I said, if if they do this, if if Foot Locker, Foot Action and Champs is going to continue to bless the accounts, I like to call them grandfather accounts, like the OG accounts, the accounts that was, you know, as soon as they started the app, I had it. Like, here, here's my thing. I got, I got a question for somebody in here question for somebody in here and the person who gets this question right i'll send you a free black drop front case okay free drop front case here's the question i want to see how good y'all are i want to see how og y'all are all right what was the first actually it was two that dropped that day but uh, let me i just want to make sure my answer is correct before i do this I believe it was a shoe. What was the first shoe that was on the Foot Action app? What was the first shoe that was on the Foot Action app? What was the first shoe? Christopher Rodriguez. I need more specifics. What was the first shoe that was on the Foot Action app? 
We got 260 in the chat. How many likes we got? Make sure we at least got 130. Make sure we at least got 130 likes up in here. We got... What is it? How many likes we got? How many likes we got up here, y'all? I love doing this last stuff. This last stuff is so much easier than making the videos, man. Hold on. Hold on. We got a winner. We got a winner. Ty Ty O, but I need more specifics. I need more specifics. All right. We got it. We got it. Hold on. Was it the... Uh, it was the OGs. Yep. Ty Ty, uh, Ty Ty O, I believe he got it. It was a Yeezy V2 350 Belugas. The Belugas was the first shoes on the app. The first shoe on the Foot Action app was the Beluga um, Yeezy uh, 350. So Ty Ty O, make sure you hit me up on IG. Um, make sure you send me all your information, bro, so I can send you out one of these black drop front cases. Yeah, man, so... I don't know. I don't know, man. Things is things are starting to get tough because now if there's no head start, Nike always doing the draw. They're gonna do the draw for the Travis Scott. Uh, they're gonna do the uh the draw for the Travis Scotts. So it's just like, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's it's gonna be so hard to get shoes now, and that's what that's another thing that Nike is trying to do when they're trying to cut out the middleman. Nike, if you guys notice. Nike has been dropping most of its exclusive sneakers only on the sneakers app. They trying to they trying to build that app relationship with their customers. They trying to build that online relationship with their customers. So most of all the good stuff is what been apps only, man. So it's no more really like Nike.com where you can go and grab a pair of fearless ones. Everything is on the apps. Everything will now be apps, man. Have you been around to Chicago? No, I've yet to go to round to Chicago. Yet to go around to Chicago. Where we at in here, man? Where we at? I know a lot of people, like I said, in church. A lot of people trying to go to church. I probably will go live again later on, man. I may actually hit up Bostic and see if Bostic got time to um jump on uh jump on a live tonight. All right. How many likes we got? How many likes we got, man? We got three hundred in the chat. See, we got a lot of people in here, man. I don't know if I want to get off. Um, no more friends and family cards handed out at Nike Outlet. Everything done now on Nike Plus. Yeah, man. Everything is done pretty much on, like, apps. They want to do apps for everything. Are you cool with betas, bro? I know you're Greek. You talking about, um, Sigma Lambda Beta? The Cuzzos? If so, yeah. 49 likes. Let's at least get this joint to 100. We get this joint to 100 likes. I hit up Bostic and see if Bostic want to go live tonight. I see a Bostic want to go live tonight, and I have him bring his five favorite shoes and my five favorite shoes. How about that? I think that would be dope. I think that would be dope. Last time I talked to Bostic, um, he said weekends are good for him. So that will be dope for me and Bostic to go ahead and, you know, you know, do some talking, man. Do a raffle tonight for 150. We get 150 likes in here before I get off. What, who, who just said that? Victor Lucas said, do a raffle tonight for 150 likes. We get 150 likes, I'll give away some tonight. All right? I do have some friends and family hoodies that I will have at SneakerCon. Friends and family hoodies, I'm partnering up with Suplex. I will have those at SneakerCon. I will have some. I will have the collab um, I'm doing with Anderson Blue at SneakerCon. Um, I will be at Sneaker Games on the 9th. So anybody in the Orlando or the Florida area... Use promo code Unbreakable. It'll give you $5 off your ticket. So I will be in Orlando this Saturday. So that's what I'm saying with this release. It's just like I wouldn't be here to grab them anyway. Wouldn't be here to grab them anyway, man. So let's see. All right. Ty Ty, he hit me up. So I'll make sure I send out his drop front case tomorrow. Does that sound good? Y'all want Bostic? Y'all want me to see if Bostic can get on live? I do. Well, Bostic to get on live. I'm going to have Z Sneakerhead on here. Me and Khan conceded. We still in the talks of him getting on a, um, on a live as well. Um, since GOAT change, um, charge and sales tax will offer price go up. I don't know. Maybe. I'm just glad. See, look. Here's the pros and cons about living in Illinois. Our taxes is already so high. But like GOAT and like StockX, I don't get here with taxes. 
So I'm straight. I'm straight with that. But here's another thing, you know, when it comes to like reselling and things like that, you know, I, I say Nike don't care about their being reseller, but then you got to think too. Foot Locker don't care about resellers either. You know, you want to know why? And here's why. I got you, bro. I just got your text. Um, here's why Foot Locker does not care about resellers. Who can answer that question for me right quick? Why does Foot Locker not care about resellers? In a sense of like they don't care that resellers exist. Can somebody tell me this? Because somebody hit me up and like, break, you wrong. Foot Locker don't care that it's resellers either because of this. Somebody tell me. They making money still? Yeah, that's definitely correct. Because they making their money regardless. True. They are resellers. <laughs> All their shoes sell out. True. But it's something specific that I'm looking for. It's something specific that I'm looking for. Yep, they definitely do. Um, nope, they didn't partner with StockX. Yeah, they are a middleman. Yeah, the, the demand. Uh, I'm not seeing the answer. There we go. Hold on, hold on. Jeremy uh, Lawson said it. They partnered up with GOAT. GOAT are resellers. It's a resale app. So if you care about getting rid of resellers, you wouldn't partner up with one of the biggest reseller apps in the world. It makes no sense. And to the point where some of, some of Foot Locker's inventory is probably in GOAT's inventory as well. Foot Locker would not have partnered up with GOAT if they were trying to eliminate resellers. Why would they do that? Why would a company who don't like resellers say, huh, let's partner up with you. We're going to put all out. We're going to put millions into y'all. Foot Locker probably got stuff that have been sitting for years, but they know that they can get that off on GOAT. Come on, y'all. I mean, they don't care. As much as a lot of people like to say these companies are trying to get rid of resellers, they are not. They are not. So stop believing that. Stop waking up saying my Foot Locker cares about, maybe yes, maybe your Foot Locker at your local mall. Because like I said, it's a DTLR out here that refuses to sell to me, which is cool because I don't go to there no way. But that's one DTLR. But then you might have a DTLR in the city who like, bro, you could take all these. Just get, you know what I'm saying? If, if, a, store, if a store is paying $84. Let's let's do some quick math right quick. If a store is paying $84 a piece wholesale for this. So let's do some math. I'm gonna grab my phone. I'm gonna grab my phone, y'all. Let's do some quick math. Do some quick math and I'm gonna switch it over. Okay. So look, if a store is getting $84 a piece, and I think that $84 is yeah, let's just say $84 per Air Jordan 1. Let's say they got a hundred pairs. Okay, so they pay Nike eight thousand four hundred dollars for you know that hundred pairs of Jordan ones. Okay, so let's say if the store wanted to backdoor or they wanted, let, yeah, let's just say if they want to backdoor this shoe right here. So they pay Nike eighty four hundred dollars for the shoe. Okay, so then let's say they had let's let's just be real because this is how it go in Chicago. Let's say they had uh, an Asian cat came in and he bought all of their Air Jordan 1s at $300 a piece, okay? And most stores here, like, if they're going to sell all of them, you got to take them all. They're not going to just let you take all the money sizes and just leave the big sizes. So um, let's just say... Let's just say I was a store, okay? Let's just say I was a store with a Nike, um, with a Nike account. I paid Nike $8,400... $8,400 for um, 100 pairs of these. Now, I'm saying, okay, I'll sell them early for $300 a piece. So I got um, $300 times $100, okay? That's thirty grand. I just made minus the $8,400 I just paid. So I just made $21,000, 21 grand, 21 grand. Okay, so this is the same. No, I won't say this is the same amount that Foot Locker make. This is like what one of the, you know, uh, social status or, uh, uh, you know, one of one of those uh, tier zero stores. This is what they would just make by selling 100 pairs of these early. And remember, they pay wholesale price. 
They not paying box price for shoes. They paying wholesale price. So let's just see how much Foot Locker makes. Foot Locker does the same thing. Let's say they got 100 pairs, pay Nike $84 a piece, $8,400, and then they charging us $175 at the tax, 100 boom. They just made $17,500 $17, minus the $8,400, boom. They just made $9,100 in one day. Simple economics, people. Simple economics. So if somebody can make $9,100 in one day, they don't care about resellers, bro. They don't care. So this is just simple math, man. And we can go deeper than that. It goes a lot deeper. That's why I kind of enjoy doing these, these little lives now, bro. Because I feel like I can, what's on my brain, I can just talk about it. Okay, somebody said, I've been asking forever. Let me see them silver ones. Well, bro, what silver ones? Only silver ones I got is like the Laylee Mays up top. And them, them satin joints. Everybody, everybody the same them joints. Them the only silver ones that I got in my collection. So look, so yeah, we are resellers, but the real resellers is Foot Locker, Foot Action, all them people. Yeah, the sneaker game is hella grimy, bro. It is, man. And this goes on on a day-to-day -day basis, bro. So when y'all look at me and be like, break, why are you charging $300 early for these? Well, I probably paid $250 for them. So everybody got to get their cut. And like I always say, sneakers are like drugs. The more hands that touch it, the more expensive it's going to be. Again, simple breakdown. Nike pays $2 for this shoe to be made. Then Nike charges Foot Locker $84. Then Foot Locker charges me $160. Then I charge somebody $250. Then somebody charge somebody $300. Then somebody charge them $325. So the more hands that touch these shoes, the more expensive the shoe will. I don't have the Kawhi, uh, I don't have the Kawhi ones. The Pass the Torch, I don't have them joints. And, and there's certain shoes that I'm just like... Let me see. Do I want the shoe? And that shoe, I do not want that shoe. Like one, the the leather, the the material on that shoe is garbage, and I'm not about to pay twelve hundred dollars for a shoe just because it's limited and it's just like a trash shoe. Granted, most of my shoes in here pro probably people will be like, well, that's what you're looking at now, but I, I I just can't fathom to to pay that much for that shoe. <laughs> what are we looking at now in the chat, man? How many we got in here? Yeah, man. People who complain about resellers, I say this, man. I used to be that person in line complaining about resellers. That was me one once upon a time. But I have to say, what will complaining get you? What and that goes and that's just in life in general. If you trying to lose weight for a uh, you know for a marathon. You complaining about you being big is not going to make you finish that marathon. So get up and do something about it. You not liking resellers, they're not going to go away. Complaining about resellers is not going to change the fact that it's still going to be resellers. So get up and do something. Get up and, and try to learn how to do it. And even if it's, and even if it, and I'm not saying try to become a reseller, try to beat your local reseller so that you get your pair for free. Like I always say, man, we, um, respect X. We already talked about the no more hair start. That was like the first 20 minutes of the video. That was like the first 20 minutes. So like I was saying, man, if you want to see the, if you want to change, bro, just learn from it, but they not going nowhere. And again, about the um about the 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 head start. I don't know what's going on. I just need to see if I'm still gonna get W's. If I still get W's, I'm cool. I'm I'm perfectly fine if I'm still getting W's. But if I see a drastic change and I'm taking L's, I'm gonna be like, man, bro, what's going on? But I still think that they're gonna cater to the people who spend money in the stores. I still think that they're gonna cater to the people who you know, still have their their daily transactions or their weekly transactions with them. I feel it. Victor Lucas, shout out for the donation. Said thirty eight more likes, or don't y'all wait? 
38 more likes. Come on, don't y'all want a giveaway? Yes. I will go live again tonight, and I will give away something. I don't know what it is, but we get 150 likes in here. I'll go ahead and give away something. I, I don't I don't know. Maybe some more drop front cases or something, but I'm trying to get my man Bostic on here tonight. I'm trying to get my man Bostic, even if it's for like 20, 30 minutes. That would be something that the sneaker community needs. You no, know, Bostic is 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 a legend in in itself, and not even trying to talk about age, but Bostic is a the old age old head sneakerhead, and I'm part of like I guess I'm a, a newer sneakerhead, especially in his eyes, you know. So that would be dope. Hey, bro, you have the forest the forest green fourteens? No, but that is a nice shoe. Travis Scott six giveaway. I am doing that with Soul Steals. We will be picking a winner next week for Soul Steal uh, Travis Scott giveaway. Um, I believe his name was Matt. Uh, Matt won the um the Travis Scott Jordan one low. So everything I do with Soul Steal, all my giveaways, bro. Everybody get their stuff if they follow the rules as far as hitting me up. Make sure y'all send me y'all information. My inbox be crammed, so I'm not about to go through my inbox looking for people who be like, oh, I won. Y'all got to let me know. Um, shout out to Marcus Perry for the 199 donation. Look, man, the, the live stuff is dope, bro. Like, like I just I just enjoy doing this, man, because I don't have to sit in front of camera editing it. I get to chat with y'all as much as possible. Um, I need 11 and a half on them. Travis Scott sixes. Grab them while they low. When it come to hype sneakers, grab them while they are low. Because eventually they will go back up. My man Eric Carson said, it's called networking. I have a relationship with the people at the spot, so they uh, look, never wait in line. Just come on and pick up on a day of shoe drops. No worry. Keep doing your thing. Break. Appreciate it, bro. It is. It's all about who you know and what you know about who. And what I mean about that is all about who you know, so you can know a manager and what you know about who. What can a manager do? Because you got some managers in stores who ain't got no pool. They ain't got no rank. So just because you know a manager don't mean that that manager going to be able to finesse. Don't mean that manager going to be able to get you pairs. So it's what you know about that person that's going to help you out. Oh, he's a manager, but he's also the store manager. So let me get, you know what I'm saying? Let me go holler at him. Um, why did the Fearless Ones tank? Fearless Ones tanked temporarily because StockX did they 30, 50% off seller fees and everybody literally dumped all their pairs you have what I call scared resellers. When you have scared resellers and they see prices starting to fall, they instantly sell their shoes. Everybody dumped them. <coughs> and like I said yesterday, because everybody dumped them, they're about to dry up. They are going to dry up. And once they dry it up, because you have some people who literally sit on tons and tons of shoes. I mean, it's probably somebody with 100 pairs of these in his garage and just waiting, just waiting for them joints to go up. Just waiting for them to go up. So me personally, I have I have a decent amount. And like, if I don't sell any of them right now, I'm cool. I know what Jordan 1s do. I know what they do. Reason why these went down in price Reason why these went down the price, reason why these went down the price is because when you have so many Jordan 1s coming out, it's so hard to keep up. Yeah, you had these that recently just came out. You know what I'm saying? But look, it even took these some time to go up. It even took these some time. These joints wasn't busting as soon as they came out. The game were used. These was not bust as soon as they came out at all. But now they up there. It just takes time, especially when you have an influx of Jordan 1s coming out. You got Jordan 1s coming out dang near once a month. So it's hard for them to contain, to, to keep value when they constantly coming out every week. You know what I'm saying? Every week they coming out. All right. What else we got? Anybody got more questions? Rumor that those game royals come out 2020. Yeah, they supposed to look like kind of like a royal toe. Supposed to look like a royal toe. Those would definitely be dope. 
Travis Air Force One stock. I'm not sure. Normally, when they do like Travis Scott Air Force Ones, they normally do uh, like one Foot Locker gets them here. And I remember when his second pair of Air Force Ones dropped, I hit on two pairs and I went to grab them. And I actually sold them for the low. I sold them for like $300. The Travis Scott Air Force Ones, and now they're going like six, seven hundred bucks. So, can you explain what's up with the no head start? Okay, I guess how many people we got in here? So, I guess a lot of people who coming in late. How many, how many people we got in here, y'all? Keep your boy updated on how many people we got in here. We got 436 in here. Um, so again, as far as the head start situation, um, I don't know why, but as as far as right now. There's no more hair start. No more hair starts. And um, I don't know if it's a good thing. I don't know if it's a bad thing. For me personally, like I said, I feel like we got to just wait and see. <clears throat> like for those who normally hit on pairs, wait and see what it's looking like this weekend. And I hate that they're using this one to be the first because these are going to be limited in general. You know what I'm saying? This wasn't going to just be an easy shoe to cop anyway. So let me just see what's coming out on Sneakers app upcoming. So these, these right here, them N7 8s, I definitely want those. These, I'm going to actually go for these too, man. I know Nordstrom had them and they sold out instantly. Uh, Sneakerhead Latino, is this good? It all depends, bro. I see it both ways. I say it's bad if I say it's bad if anybody can just make an account now and they can beat somebody who had an account for like two, three years. These new accounts, new accounts rarely ever win. New accounts rarely ever win. So if somebody making 16 new accounts and them 16 new accounts beat mine, I'm gonna be mad. But we just gotta wait and see. We just gotta wait and see. The Olivia, uh, Olivia Kims, I'm going after those. Um, what's the point of Platinum now then? I don't know, bro. I really don't. Like I said, I'm going to try to get more information for y'all, but I really don't know. So these are the mids right now, right here that's coming out. I thought it was a joint with the watch on it, but uh, blue to great. So a lot of these that people don't know, that most of these Fearless Air Jordan 1s are collab shoes. So... These joints, these joints is honestly the my favorite out of the mids. You got like the little corduroy on the side. So giveaway locked in. I got it, bro. These are gonna be trouble. These are definitely gonna be trouble. Yeah, I'm talking about the joints with the fake Rolex. Um, I think those are um, a women's exclusive. But since, like I said, I don't know because like I took L's on. Those um, fear of gods at uh, Foot Locker State Street. So it's just like if I didn't hit those and I don't hit these, I can't really tell whether or not my accounts are being effective. It got to be a certain shoe that multiple, you know, Foot Lockers are getting. That way I can tell like, OK, well, I'm straight or OK, man, I ain't been able to hit no more. Because what I was told, <clears throat> what I was told was that they are trying to find people who have multiple accounts. So. You know, if you have, if your name is like DeAntaquan7 at gmail.com and, and you're using that for Foot Locker, Foot Action, and Champs, and then you got another one, DeAntaquan7 at gmail.com. So if you got DeAntaquan7 at Yahoo and DeAntaquan7 at Gmail, they're like, okay, this is the same person. We just going to take the account that got the highest points and we're going to get rid of the other one. So that's what I heard that they're going to be doing also. So. It's a lot, man. It's a lot that's going on. It's a lot of changes. But like I said, for those who are new in here right now, I did hear that the rewards program that they are going to have is going to be nasty. I'm talking about like they said people are going to be getting free round trips, hotel stays, like all kind of dope stuff that they are going to be giving to their loyal customers. So I don't care about a coupon. 
<laughs> but if they start, if they, <laughs> if they start giving out like trips and stuff, bro, that's way better than a coupon, man. You know, you you gotta crack on yourself, bro. Sometimes you gotta laugh at yourself. Hey, if anybody ain't using y'all coupon, hey, y'all hey, hey, know y'all know the DM, y'all know the DM, boy. Send them joints over here. You feel me? So um. Yeah, man. So that's about it, y'all. I've been on here for 40 minutes. Again, I do have a mystery unboxing. I'm gonna hit up Jetman Bostic to see if um to see if he want to get on a live later on today. Your boy the coupon king. And that goes for anything. Look, I ain't gonna stump. Look, my daughter, we went to Wendy's and my daughter was like, Dad, Dad, you forgot the Wendy's coupons on the kitchen table. So you it ain't just shoes. Look, ask snipe. Ask Flight, I got rewards for every store I go into. I got coupons for every store. My boy Todd Sterling in the building. Look, Todd was one swole mf -er, bro. Todd, Todd been shopping with me for the longest. Now, if, you, if you've been shopping with your boy for a minute, you have my personal number. Like, Chaotic is in the building right now. I do not call Chaotic Kicks. Like, when he called me, I don't say, what's good? K no, I don't know. Chaotic, for, for the people who know Chaotic Kicks, he was a customer of mine years before he got on YouTube. So I got him locked in my phone as his real, as his government name. And that's how I am with my loyal customers, bro. The ones who ain't never turned their back on me. The ones who've been rocking with me from the get-go. Even if you was a customer of mine and you no longer shot with me, that's dope. Because you out here getting your own shoes. Like, Chaotic don't need to hit me up for no pairs. Break. Unless he take an L. Then he hit me up. Break, man. I took an L. But this man know how to go out there and get his own shoes. <coughs> and... I don't have information. If you were one of my customers, I will never, I will never not put information on my channel to to not help y'all get shoes because by y'all not needing my services, that frees up my time. That's that's honestly how it is. How do I buy shoes from you, bro? Just hit me up on IG. Right, Todd saying it, bro. Since the leaning wall of sneakers, bro. Who was here since I had the 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 back wall? I ain't had no drop fronts. I just had all of the shoes just leaning on the side. Who remember that? Who remember that? Those are OG heads right there, bro. Hey, hey, chaotic, bro. Let me know how many people we got up in here, man. <clears throat> Before I go ahead and exit out. The leaning boxes, bro. If you don't have IG, bro, you can just... Dang, that's kind of tough. Because I, I try to go through my uh, messages on here. I try to go through my messages on here, but... It just be it just be too much, man. It just be too much. Nah, man, I ain't going to Popeyes today, bro. I gotta take a break, man. Gotta take a break. How are we looking on the winterized fours? Winterized fours is gonna shock a lot of people, bro. That shoe is dope, and 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 it's not. It's a winterized shoe, but it's more like a regular Air Jordan 4, and that's what I liked about it. I like the materials on it. The only thing winterized about it is a side panel where the netting is. They put rubber, and the tongue is rubber. That's it. So it's typically just a regular Air Jordan 4. The colorway is dope. The quality is dope. I do have the winterized 4 video on my channel now. King Tweezy, what's good with it, bro? I do have it on my channel right now. And look, for those, look. Before we get off here, I'm still alive. Your boy's still alive at the pranking to Shamber with the Winterized 4. So, again, if you did not see that prank video that I did where I pranked my wife with the Winterized 4, go ahead and check that video out. That is a hilarious, hilarious video. It had me scared. Your boy was sweating at first because I ain't never seen her like, I ain't never seen her just kind of like, Give me a look like that, bro. That was just a, that was a look I never seen, and I instantly just got that, that sweat just started to come down. I'm like, oh crap, oh crap. So check that video out. It's on UBK Fam, UBK Fam. Make sure y'all go ahead and check that out, bro. Um, I don't even know how to type up in this joint, man. Let me see. Y'all know I'll be new to all this. Uh, I'll be new to all this stuff, bro. Hey, chaotic. Can you type UBK Fam in here? Bro, so they can uh so they can know exactly where to go and check out the um reaction video or somebody, King Tweezy, somebody, um, somebody just type UBK fam in the comment section so people can go over there and check out the um the prank I did on Tashamber, man. So again, like I said, I said this a million times, y'all. I do got a mystery unboxing. 
mystery unboxing, and I'm going to try to get Jumpman Bostic on here tonight. We 45 minutes in here already, man. Go and check out that video on UBK Fan. Why is Gold charging sales tax in New York now? I have no clue, bro. I just hope that we don't get hit with the sales tax because Chicago are already paid like property taxes crazy, all that stuff. Me and Chaotic will be doing a giveaway once. He, I think he want to do it now. Chaotic, let him know when you're trying to do the giveaway um, because I know bro is trying to get to 1,000. Chaotic is trying to get to 1,000 um, subscribers. So me and him will be doing a giveaway. So Chaotic, as soon as you're ready to do the giveaway, bro, just hit me up and we'll get it. What the force? That's another thing. Um, Final line is supposed to be dropping off the what the force today. Christopher Rodriguez, good question. I didn't hit up my boy yet, but no more instant starts. Again, we don't know if it's just for like these shoes that they're going to do. No more head starts. I don't know, bro. I honestly don't know. I, this is just something we just got to let it play out. We got to play out. Um, we just got to let it play out, man. So other than that, y'all, they, they out there cutting the grass so it's getting loud. I know y'all got church. I know y'all got football. I need to clean this room. Bro, look how junky my room is. Look how junky the room is. Got to clean the vault. The vault been like this for some days. That's the collab bag I'm doing with Soul Premise. Royal Blue. Y'all see that? Joint is dope. That's going to be the collab bag. It's still in the works. It's the XL bag. So this fit up to like size 14 and 15 in shoes. So this is the biggest bag yet that they've made. So collab bag is coming very, very soon. I want y'all to know that as well. If anybody want those LA um, Air Force Ones, hit me up as well, man. And other than that, y'all, you got your boy Unbreakable. You got the Unbreakable Vault, Unbreakable Army. Stand strong like always. I will see you guys later. We'll see you guys later. Is that an island? I don't know. This is like a Tiffany Blue um, Jordan 1 Low. This is a sample shoe. Like, you can tell shoes are like sample shoes by the 9999. Most of these 9999s are not in stores. So these are not necessarily a prototype, but it's most of these can go to friends and family before the actual release. Um, and these came out in 2015. I know uh, my boy AJ, y'all know AJ uh, Ty Kicks, who is the um, the host of SneakerCon, who do the um, panels. He actually gave me these, and he got these from Marcus Jordan and them at Trophy Room. So I've never even seen this colorway. It is a size 11 and a half. He's a size 10. So he like, break, you can just take them. But y'all know how I feel about lows for the most part, so I would rather give these away to somebody who's going to actually rock them so with that being said me and aj may be doing a giveaway for these later on as well man so like always y'all love y'all man i will catch y'all later let me hit up bostic and i'll see y'all later on tonight